Hello guys, another video from my car as every Friday on this channel. Not that much about Laravel directly, but more about broader career of a developer. And recently I got a question on Twitter, so I've been posting quite a lot about Python on my second channel and a lot of tips about that. So I've been asked, is it hard, is it difficult to learn Python as a PHP developer? And I want to discuss this question because I feel it is wrong way to formulate the question in two angles. So first, is it difficult to learn a language or a framework? I get this question from time to time. Is it hard or easy to learn Python, live wire, inertia or filament or whatever you want? And the thing is, it's impossible to answer with yes or no. Easy or hard? How do you measure that? And also easy to learn or hard to learn? What do they mean by learn? If the goal is to learn the syntax like hello world or create your own to-do list for yourself, then yeah, any language or framework is relatively easy and can be done within a few days in my opinion. But the real use case and probably your goal while learning the language is not hello world. Your goal is to get real jobs or real paid projects with that language. So the real goal of that is so far ahead from actually learning the syntax of that language. So I recently built a Python roadmap for beginners and I will put the link in the description below. And with Python, I also did that with Laravel and earlier in my career in PHP. And I see the same pattern. The roadmap to get to the level of real job or real paid project contain multiple technologies, multiple frameworks, multiple tools, multiple libraries on top of the language or framework you want to learn. So with Laravel, yes, you can learn quickly Laravel routes, MVC, Eloquent and Laravel structure. But to deliver real project to real client, you probably need to add something on top. Front end, maybe Vue.js or React or maybe Livewire with Tallstack or maybe Filament for admin panel. What about inertia if you use Vue.js? What about Blade components if you want it to be extensible? What about packages like Laravel modules, Spotty Media Library, or multi-tenancy packages? What about Laravel Nova or any other Laravel packages from the first party packages? So the real use case in real world is so much more than just Laravel. And don't forget that Laravel is on top of PHP. So PHP roadmap may be even broader than that. And for example, for Python roadmap, the question is the use case of Python because, well, Laravel and PHP are for web technology, for web projects, and Python is different. It has multiple use cases like machine learning, same web development, AI, and others. So it's even broader. So getting back to the main question and the main topic, I wouldn't phrase the question of, is it easy or hard to learn the language? It's kind of pointless to just learn the language in my opinion. If you are at a crossroad trying to decide whether to start learning new language, new framework, or dive into programming in general, be prepared for years of learning before getting to the level of actual real job or real project. Because first you learn the syntax, then you learn the tools, then with a lot of practice, you will learn how to use those tools in an effective way. And only then you can be actually useful to some company to create real projects. So yeah, my advice is instead of asking, is it easy or hard? Try it out yourself. Try Python, try .NET, try Filament, try C++, try whatever keyword you want to insert here. And then you would feel yourself whether you want to dive deeper or not. And of course, you don't need my permission or recommendation to learn some technology or framework. It's all your personal preference based on types of projects you want to work with and a lot of other factors. I thought just now that this video may raise more questions to you than give answers, but that actually is the point. Ask yourself what you want to do, make your research on what technologies are out there, the options, and then try it out yourself. I hope this unstructured advice based on one tweet will help you in choosing your technologies to learn in the future, or at least will mentally prepare you for the long distance. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.